we don't know at this point when the election will be called. Do you have any indication where, you know, people are expecting... Man, like, if I knew, I think I'd be very rich right now. Um, I think right now it's just a matter of waiting for the votes to come in. We're still waiting for some of those big blue counties to count up all the votes. That's going to be the difference maker. If we can build the margins there that we need, it's going to be an okay election. If we don't, we're in for another four years of chaos. So we're going to see what happens. Um, all we can do is make sure that every vote is counted, that every voice is heard, and that's what we're going to do. So up for grabs at this point, we don't know. Yeah, I think so. Um, no one has a lock on the Electoral College, and that's what it all comes down to. So we just don't know at this point. Just a personal comment. I wish we didn't go by the Electoral College. It would be so nice if the popular vote actually counted. But... Well, I'm pretty sure I can officially say the Democratic Party of Washington State agrees with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it tends to be problematic. Um, if people want to get more information about this election and the results, uh, where is a good website to go to to get the official Washington State Democratic Party's uh, press releases? Or... Our press releases are at wadems.org. That's our website. You can also find results at the Secretary of State's office, um, Washington Secretary of State. Google will get you there. And what can we expect in terms of tomorrow? Are there going to be press conferences? Are you going to be making some announcement? What, what are the plans for the state party at this point? For the state party right now, we're going to take a little bit of R&R. Uh, we've all earned it. We've been working our butts off for the past nine months or so. Um, but we are definitely going to be keeping people posted on the results, especially for some of the closer races that haven't been called yet. As soon as they are, we will make announcements. More than likely on Thursday, we'll be doing our congratulation posts for this uh, candidate to have won. So keep an eye on our social feeds. Um, we'll be posting a lot there and most of our um, press releases also go on socials. Can you confirm then that the Democrats have won all of the state executive positions that were up in this? In this the state? only one that I saw that wasn't called was the lands commissioner and we believe we're going to get there. The lead we have tonight will, should only grow. Um, we are going to not take anything for granted. It's all about waiting till all the votes are counted, but we are very, very confident in the position that we're on on election night. There were some challenges with Dave Reichert on the on the state level with the governorship. But, you know, Bob Ferguson, he's got a great reputation for fighting. Ran a great campaign. Trump yeah, administration this, too. We're so. very proud of our candidates. We really want them to enjoy this moment. Um, they put in blood, sweat, and tears um, for the past, some of them more than a year. So uh, every single one of our candidates cares so much about Washington State, and we do too. So it's great to have those folks where they're at. And I can give you some feedback. Very accessible. Really nice talking to Governor Inslee. And I've known Pramila for, for years. So Thanks for, for running candidates who actually uh, are kind of down with the people and are willing to reach out I love and hearing that. Thank you so talk much. to their constituents. I know Jayapal does a great job of reaching out to her constituents. She's always saying, give me a call, call my <laughs> office, let's meet. So that's what a, a representative should do in Congress. So thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Thank you.